the first thing we're going to do is insert a background on our slide. I'm going to go ahead and set a theme, choose a background image, and you'll see this comes up with the same media library we were looking at earlier with the exact same items. In this case, I'm going to pick the field image I had already loaded, and I'm going to set that as our background. To help block off some other areas on the sign, I'm going to draw a few rectangles to give ourselves some backgrounds to work with. You'll notice I just drag the edges to resize. If I click in the middle, I can move the item around. When the item's active, down below there are some icons that pop up. The, print, the paintbrush will let me style the item, things like changing the colors, the borders, and the trash can will remove the item. If I go into style, I want to make this item have a different background color, and I'd like to make it partially transparent so the background shows through. You'll notice there's a number of other items up here that we can style, such as the text, the border, shadows, including drop shadows, and some basic animations, and some other advanced utilities like rotation. For the box right now, I'm just going to go ahead and set a black background color at about 50% transparency. And that'll give me my first background box. I'm going to go ahead and move that into place down here. I'm going to use the copy and paste items to give myself a second one with the same settings. And I'll resize that for a sidebar. Now that we have a couple areas on screen, we'd like to start putting in some content. What's going to go on this display? Up here in my content selection, I'm going to go ahead and choose one of the widgets, in this case, time and date. There's a number of options we can format this. I'm not going to get too much into all the different options with the widgets and features, because we are going to follow up with some additional hangouts to cover the specifics of our widgets and the features available within them. If I hit OK, I end up with a time and date on the screen, and I can drag that into place, resize it as I see fit. In this case, I want to make the text a little bit bigger, so I'm going to use our automatic text size button to kind of fit that text to the box that I gave it without overflowing for bigger items. Another one that commonly comes up is QR codes. We actually have a widget for those, so we can generate them internally. I'm going to make a quick QR code that actually goes directly to our signage, so if someone can scan a QR code, they can pull up our signage on their phone. It's as simple as entering in the information for the QR code. It's generated. I can resize it and drag it into place. The next widget we had was a weather widget along the side, showing our current forecast as well as the uh, extended forecast. I go down to weather. You'll see I can choose a different location for the weather. I can choose which units to display it in. And I can choose whether I want to have the forecast on or off. Once I hit OK, you'll see it brings in the weather. And again, all of these widgets can be styled. So by default, they come in with a transparent background. But if I wanted to make the background a different color, I could always click the Style button and change the background color, the text color, the borders, or shadows. So any item can have rounded corners and drop shadows. And that includes videos as well. For this case, I already have an item behind it. So I'm going to drag this right on top of my background. QR code just a little bit smaller here. So the next step is what are we going to put in our main content area? I mentioned before that I had put together a slideshow. I'm going to go ahead and insert our slideshow widget now. Select my sample announcement slideshow. And I'd like this one to actually scroll horizontally left and right. And down here we have some additional controls. Uh, because people might view this on a mobile device, I'm going to go ahead and turn on swipe so that they can swipe through my slideshow. When I hit OK, my slideshow is created and added to the page. And I can drag out my content to fill the area that I have. Now that's starting to look like something, but I kind of miss my background a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and style this similar to the other one go ahead and just take out a little bit of the transparency so you can see through it. Now that's starting to look like some signage. We have a few other items to add and a few other things to show you. The first one I'm going to do is insert an image. 
back in our media library, after clicking images, video, and audio, I can select an image or multiple images to insert into my sign. In this case, I'm going to select one that has a transparent background. We fully support transparency, so if you have something like an icon as a PNG file that has a transparent background, we can go ahead and bring that in and use that transparency to our advantage. In this case, I'll resize it and put it down here for some announcements. And then I'll go ahead and use our text tool to add some text for our announcements. Again, I'm just resizing the box. If I double click it, I can then edit the text inside the box. You'll notice we have our standard toolbar available. This is a quick, easy way to insert text. We have all the standard formatting options as far as paragraphs, bulleted lists, things like that. Uh, and it's also a great way that you can just quick type in a message or make a header. So now we have an area down there that we can update with our announcements. But we also have that list that we inserted earlier, and I want to do something with that list now. So we're going to go ahead and make an area for our menus. Before I do that, I'm going to add a couple style elements to this to make it look a little better. I'm not a designer at all, but I'll go ahead and make this look a little more appealing. In this case, I'm going to make another bar that's partially transparent. I'm going to put this on top of our other ones to kind of break up our content a little bit. I'm also going to add another one to separate our lower sections. Go ahead and make this one transparent as well. And then we're going to need a label so they know what our menu is about. So I'm going to add some additional text. This will be our menu. And then I want to go ahead and take that text and rotate it so it fits on our menu bar. To insert our widget and show our data, our list from Excel, and go up to widgets again. And this time I'm going to choose the listies widget. I only have one list in there to select from. And in this case, I'm going to keep it in the default format for just a regular data list. I only want to have five items per day show. And I do want it to have the header so people know what the items are. And down here, there's an option for use date. So I can only have today's date items showing. We could also specify it by week or month. After doing that, I'll have another widget on screen that has the, date, the data from our spreadsheet. It still needs to be styled a little bit, but it has all of the basic information. In this case, I'm going to give it a little bit more room. I'm going to give it a totally transparent background so that other piece can show through. I'm going to make sure it has white text on it. And I'll make the font size a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. And now we have our completed signage. 